everyone, this video is for school purposes mainly. Today we'll be talking about climate change and how to reduce it. We'll start off with the impacts of said topic and we'll talk about how to reduce it after. Impacts of climate change. As most of you know, climate change is a long-term change in the average weather patterns that have come to define our local, regional, and global climates. Climate change will impact agriculture and food production around the world due to the effects of CO2, also known as carbon dioxide, in the atmosphere, higher temperatures, altered precipitation and transpiration regimes, increased frequency of extreme events, and modified weed, pest, and pathogen pressure. In other words, climate change will impact food production, climates, and weathers, as well as other complicated things that I do not want to discuss. Meaning, climate change also exists from a slow burning of the ozone layer from different gases and chemicals. But fear not, there are ways to try and reduce this phenomena. Source will be down in the description. Number 1. Powering up your home with renewable energy like solar power or wind power. Investing in energy efficient appliances. Did you know that since 1987, efficiency standards for dozens of appliances and products have kept 2.3 billion tons of carbon dioxide out of the air? That's about the same amount as the annual carbon pollution cuffed up by nearly 440 million cars. Number 2. Reducing water waste. Saving water reduces carbon pollution too. That's because it takes a lot of energy to pump, heat, and treat your water. So take shorter showers or baths and turn off the faucet while brushing your teeth. Number three, actually eat the food you buy and make it less meat, vegan teacher. Did you know that in the US, approximately 10% of its energy is used to growing, pa processing, packaging, and shipping food? So if you're wasting less food, you're likely cutting down on energy consumption. Number four, buy better light bulbs, and by that I mean use LED lights. They use up 80% less energy than conventional incandescence. They're also cheaper in the long run. And lastly, pull the plugs from the outlets. Don't leave fully charged devices plugged into your home's outlets. Unplug rarely used devices or plug them into power strips and timers and adjust your computers and monitors to automatically power down to the lowest power mode when not in use. And that will be all for this video. I hope my presentation will pass and suffice for a good grade. And thank you all for watching. See you again sometime. Goodbye.